Welcome to Profile Traders and uh, you are listening to our market analysis for the pair EURUSD for Friday, December the 5th. If we go back and look at what happened on Thursday, Mr. Draghi came out and gave a little hint that he may actually calibrate his QEs as it will move forward depending on how the economic data will be released. This gave a little bit of relief to the Euro massacre from extremely overbought situation because I mean we have been in a pretty much massacred mode for a long while here and the statement from Draghi made the market move exponentially higher as it moved higher and as euro started to possibly find a little bit of relief few hours later he came out and, and said actually what I will do is that I'm going to prepare a very heavy handed package proposal for January. As soon as he said that, all the gains that we had up there evaporated and then we ended up coming down closing towards the middle of the range Thursday. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we had very little activity on Friday but there was a little problem and the problem was that since the bottom of Thursday was all made of this single letter A's when price was allowed to re-enter below 1.2042 we went and deleted entirely that range and this drop came on the back of job numbers being released by the US showing that we created 300,000 jobs, dishwashing, toilet cleaning, window cleaning, all part-time minimum wage. But of course that they won't tell you. What they will tell you is that how glorious it was that we created 300,000 jobs. So the result was that again Euro took it down the chin. What you are witnessing here is very very intentional and very coordinated. It is a complete total war of devaluation taking place among countries and currencies. Everybody wants to deplete their currencies to dust. So whatever junk it is that they manufacture and export becomes cheaper and more affordable to the other countries. And the result of this is a massacre of currencies that are just being devaluated, devaluated, devaluated via printing, via Federal Reserve manipulations, etc, etc, etc. So you cannot actually make any sense of what is happening based on fundamentals. It is now very, very much so highly manipulated, highly in control of the central banks and the equation of supply and demand is pretty much out the window. Now, in terms of very, very short term support, like we did on Thursday when we entered below 1.2342, we went all the way down to those single A's. This is now the same scenario here. If by any chance price is allowed to come in towards 1.2322, we should go delete all the single A's up there and reach 1.2379 on the upside. So this could, <coughs> excuse me, have a little cold. This could be a break up trade above 1.2322 looking to target 1.2378 now on the downside 
I'm going to show you more on the daily because it, it, it is going to be more clear. One way you can measure what to expect in the very short term is that you take this swing here when we were at 1.6 and we dropped all the way to 1.2 then you take the length of this swing you project it from the top of, pre of, of, of previous swings that we had you can see that when we dropped we dropped almost the same distance than we dropped the last time again here we have, as we approach the low, the length of that line down there, we stopped. Now, if I project this distance from the very most recent peak we had at 1.4, it is calling for Euro to possibly uh, terminate It's calling for Euro to terminate at actually 1.05. That is, if we reach the full length and copycat the previous swing down's length. But before that would happen, anywhere between now 1.212 and 1.1. 88 we are going to encounter significant support significant it is almost i would say impossible that we are going to break that level and once we break it that it's going to be a successful break the fact that we have already traveled a massive distance we are now approaching very severe support off of which we should at least see a significant oversold bounce from it so be on a very very strong lookout once we are going to reach these two levels 1.213 to 1.188 that area should be a very attractive buy if we do not hold that level i told you where you should expect this downside to terminate based on the length of the previous swings. So that's about it for today. You guys have a great weekend and I will talk to you on Monday.